Welcome to Top Tier Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Infinity Kingdom. So let's get into this. So first of all, right, my channel is going to be a mainly Infinity Kingdom content channel, with potentially some other games in the future. So please do enjoy. We are going to join the Noble Kingdom of Vitas, and we're going to start our game. The Philosopher's Stone, a human soul bound by rarest alchemy, is the key to opening the ultimate gate. The fight for the stone has been a curse, and the kingdoms of man have been at war for hundreds of years. All the while, Gnome's forces in the distant north were quiet, rising. <coughs> so we've got, so we're looking at like, so there's an enemy base from the north and we've got, we've got to fight to try and survive. Okay. They let their mechanical army into the fray. One by one, our cities are falling. If nothing is done, the human world may face its doom. Okay, so I've got to say, first of all, very, very good intro. Let's see what our castle looks like. After all, this is a castle builder game. So, yeah. Okay, so our castle is in quite a dire state. Now, we are dire need of aid. The gnomes have ransacked our cities like a plague of locusts. Many buildings have been destroyed, and many people left homeless. Our people desperately need your help. I heard you bought alchemists, that's wonderful. Please order them to restore the castle where our people can take refuge temporarily. Okay. Okay, so constructing a castle for the first time only takes five seconds. So that's pretty good to know. Very good to know. So yeah. Astounding. Is this the legendary alchemy of the goddess? Such a huge building was stored to its former glory in an instant. You are indeed a wise ruler. As a sergeant, I would also suggest you consider rebuilding, rebuilding the walls. We have news that the gnomes are planning another attack. Yes guys, I'm just going to try and get this done as soon as possible for our first video. Listen up city dwellers, hand over all of your philosopher's stones or don't blame us for getting nasty. Am I not the Philosopher's Stone yet? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we need to rebuild this, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. So, Hall of Immortals. Okay. So, this is going to summon healing type stuff. Yep. So, guys, just so you know, the reason I do know for a few bits in the game, I've got previous accounts in this game. This is Pierre Terrell. I'm going to run it through this uh, tutorial series. So we're going to return with Pierre Terrell, our new hero. So the training grounds have been upgraded, so this is where our troops are going to come from. So we've got the cavalry barracks, this is where our troops are created. This is where, over here, this is where the troops are stored, basically, over here in the training grounds. Once we've done, the cavalry barracks has been built. Troops, arm yourself and be on the ready. It has been a while since I've created a new account, so it's all fairly new. It's time to train troops, but I'm just going to give us that luxury. 
Need two speed ups. It's a march, so we need to put Pietro in that march along with Lancelot, our original hero. So, okay guys, we're heading into battle. Okay. So our units of Lancelot and Pietro are frontal units consistent of cavalry. My lord, you are mortals gathered enough energy to pass a powerful skill. Okay, but we've won anyway, so... Now that would probably be improved in the intro. Okay, so our farm has been constructed. Yeah, but these humans were on their last legs. Where did they get strength? My lord, many of our troops have been wounded, so we're going to get to our hospital. Yep. There we are. So we are now to the chapters part, okay. Have you heard of the great wizard Merlin? He once fought side by side and there were few who could withstand the power of his magic. Just going to ask us to uh, buy the pack, I believe. We're not going to. We're just going to do three chapters today. So, yeah. So guys, I believe this is when summon Helen of Troy. Yep, there we are. Okay. Alright. So we've summoned Helen of Troy. Assuming we have to put her in our march now. So she is a backline immortal or a ranged of bowman. So yeah. So because we've got three mortals of the same element, we get these boosts. You get more boosts when you deploy four units, and more boosts again um, when you get five units. So we need to get a dragon and we need to get another hero. So we're heading into battle against this garrison. They've got 75 troops left, 44, 13, 1. Well, 1, then 0. So yes, guys. Right. So today... Can I say please guys to all of you to make sure to subscribe, to like, and also to share this video. So this is going to show us how to upgrade Lancelot. And we have so these diamonds. To get you diamonds, you've got all sorts of different things. You can do it the hero secret equipment. The level, the diamonds, 
badge, skills. There's loads of different ways to level up your immortals. We're going to claim this in here for the immortals. So make sure to claim your gems for each immortal. That's very important. While that's upgrading, we will just upgrade our farm. We need to keep track of what needs upgrading. So that's our bag down here, or our items bag. There, that's the alliance. We, we are not yet in an alliance. If anybody's got an alliance in this game that would like me to join, then please do say that very early on as I will be creating my own alliance that you guys can join in with if nobody suggests an alliance to me. Just going to set my troops off. Sometimes it's easier just to gem, so I'm doing that because I'm short on time. But you guys, I would certainly recommend waiting the 20 seconds that this would take. There we are, you've just seen another example of how we can upgrade the immortals. Okay, it's telling me that I have to upgrade, press upgrade, okay. Farm bar mate. I think it's just showing us that it is okay to upgrade as well. Right, so it's time to attack the main gnome unit enemy. So what we're going to do is we're failing. Just gonna upgrade everything to level five. Well, these two to level five, we're keeping these a little bit longer than perhaps some Pietrel. I do hope to swap Pietrel out pretty soon. So we'll just do both those to level 6. We'll leave Pietrel at level 3. Should be able to challenge now. Castle, representation of Lord Strength. That's a level my limit. We'll try and read that next time. That's something else that you could do the game could do so uh, when these slides come up for when you wait to go into a battle they could uh, give you a little bit longer to read it if you choose to so that could be like an option well for an early game anyway i think they should remove that later again use home of troy took him down nearly half of his percentage There we are. My lord, we've driven away the gnomes who are outside the city. We are safe for now. We've done two out of three chapters. Is it's going to show us how to go outside of our map? So, okay, guys, so it's going to show us how to uh, use no units. So, we're going to show this. So, that is a level one trait tomorrow, right? Trait, yeah. Trent, Bacan and Rogue. So you can attack all of those, so I'm sorry, Lord two four 
I think you just stole my gnome unit. You know? So normally that happens uh, during first bit, but... Well, we know how to do it now, anyway. Right, let's just go back to attacking that no mina. Loads of tasks up here. Just ask them to upgrade that barracks. being worked here at, oh, there it is, the Norman Continent Survival Manual, which is a great book to help you understand the territory more thoroughly, Lord. Lord, you should read this book, or the clerk's hard work will be wasted. Okay, so we can have a look through this if you guys request that, but yeah, don't think that will be necessary really. Reach level four. And then we're going to finish chapter three. So we'll just do the nine philosopher's stone drop. I guess we're going to do this first, that's fine. Okay, so it's going to take us over to the harbour. ship comes in so you can, you can go to the harbour and you can uh, trade your gold for ships so yeah we're gonna do 12 hour one preferably 800 there we are this is the helm of troy event as well all stuff that we can go over in our next video after we've done this 12 loss for stone drop Okay guys, so we're going to leave it there. Okay, so I'm just going to do something with that. Let's go back. When it is slightly orange over the Philosopher's Stone, and um, that means uh, that you've got nine of them. So you can do the special tour. Three, two, one. No gold. Okay. What's that purple going to be? So we've got Brynhild. Very good. She can go on the front line. Rajibe. More home of Troy, okay, I'll accept that, yeah. So there we are, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Good evening, good night, and good morning to all of you.